If you're not freezing your rice, this is your sign to start. I'm a dietitian and welcome back to Realistic Nutrition Tips. If you love having grains like rice and quinoa with your meals, but it takes too long to cook, freeze them in portions and heat them up later. You might have heard that reheating rice is dangerous and can make you sick because of a bacteria called Bacillus cereus, which can cause vomiting and diarrhea, also popularly known as fried rice syndrome. But this has been blown way out of proportion. And I say this as someone who's obsessive about food safety, is serve safe certified, took many food science courses, is Asian, and has thoroughly studied every single type of food poisoning since I used to be an extreme emetophobic and stuff like this used to keep me up at night. It's not the reheating of the rice that makes people sick. It's all about how it was stored beforehand. After you make something like rice, just don't leave it out for too long at room temperature because that's what makes any food, not just rice, riskier to eat because bacteria can grow more rapidly at those temperatures. All you have to do is cool your rice and portion it out. I'm using these one cup silicone molds so portions are easier to manage. Then I just freeze them. I'll do this for my leftover rice so I don't waste food and so I don't have to cook rice every time I want to eat it. I'll just add it to my rice container and whenever I want rice, I'll just pop it in the microwave. Mm, freeze your rice.